So I was all set and ready to film a video for you guys all about the new Hourglass Holiday Collection. I was so excited. All week I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for my packages to come. Two packages because there were issues on launch day where they didn't have this six pan available and they just had the quad and the lipsticks. So two orders. This launch was a mess. It's not what this video is about, but this launch was annoying because they didn't basically, they, they made it so hard to figure out what colors you're actually getting. And then the preview photos, they made it seem like they were gonna be people of color friendly and um, they're just the same old repeats, things I already have with like a couple new things. Anyway, Hourglass, why do you do this? Why? Why? Everybody wants you to have palettes that are darker skin friendly and you just don't listen to us. So um, that's great. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. Anyway, I was already feeling so just frustrated because, and, and conflicted, okay, very, very conflicted. I even asked a whole bunch of different friends of different skin tones, what do you think I should do? Should I order? Should I not? Once I did order, should I film? Should I not? I don't want my channel to ever feel like you aren't welcome. Everybody is welcome, period. This channel is welcome to everybody. And I didn't want anybody, especially my friends who have darker skin, to feel like they didn't have a place on this channel. So that's why I was already conflicted about this release because I placed my order without realizing I mean, those promo photos made me think, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe they came out with something new, right? This isn't what this video is about, again. One of these palettes is a gift for a friend. So I open that first, and I open it, and I'm like, yes, girl, look, what just came, oh my gosh, so exciting, yeah. Look closer, there's a freaking something in the palette freaking something. I look closer and I'm like trying to get it in there with like my phone flashlight, trying to see in my studio lights, what is that in my palette? Is it a hole? Like, you know, shape defects, whatever. It's a freaking shard of something in this quad, okay? I'm looking and I'm seeing more. <laughs> The more I look, the more I see you guys. And it's not just this palette. I go to open my six pan and lo and behold, staring me in the freaking face is this giant thing. And at this point I'm like, like what is this? Is this the same thing as my other palette? Like it can't be, right? Like it's just like some kind of defect in the pan. No big deal. No, it's a freaking shard of something. And there's more in there, okay? It's not just the one. Like what the heck? So I start taking pictures and I'm like, customer service, like this is what's going on. Something weird with my palettes. I'm looking at my lipstick box that was all nicely wrapped or whatever in this box thinking okay at least I've got the lipsticks right like what could possibly I bought these lipsticks over and over and over again I've got so many different colors well I opened them <laughs> not only are they a little bit like dented and whatever warped but there's freaking shards in this freaking lipstick in, in both of them what is this? Black freaking pieces embedded into product. What is this hourglass? Like, this is expensive luxury makeup. I'm sorry, I've been a fan of hourglass for so long and I'm. It, it's come to the point where I'm like, I don't understand. One, okay, one, I expect that there aren't shards of something in the product that I get, brand new, that I paid full price for, like, no shards, please. Like, quality and control, could we not, you know, give this poor girl who has an autoimmune disease some big thing to, like, fight over? Like, 
If I got sick over some makeup, you know how mad I'd be? Like, that's the pettiest thing. Like, there's the whole apocalypse going on outside with Corona, which I beat. And if I, like, some freaking makeup shards brought me down, I'd be haunting whatever it is for my grade. Like, no. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hourglass, please fix this. Please. Please. Because I want to like you as a company. So that's number one. And number two, what's with the repeats? What's the, with the re-releases that only cater to light-skinned people? It's just frustrating. And actually, you know, this gift was for somebody with deeper skin. And I was just praying, praying, hoping, you know, sending her swatches of the ones I already have, that it would work for her. Because please, please, Hourglass, be inclusive. Make people feel beautiful and stop only caring about animals. Okay? Thanks. I mean, Hourglass does have a good spread of foundation and liquids and, you know, concealer. And they're starting to come out with, okay, the blush, one of the blushes on my cheeks. That's a whole nother story, by the way, by the way, okay? Um, but one of the blushes on my cheeks is at night. And my friend, who has darker skin, recommended this to me. And it's amazing, beautiful on people of color with deeper skin. Gorgeous. Step in the right direction. Thank you. But this release, I mean, I'm just... I don't even know what they can do to make this right for me at the moment. Like, I, I don't usually get this worked up. But I was just so... I was anticipating this. I was so excited. I kept checking my front door. Like, every hour, on the hour, I was like, Is it here? Is it here? Are my packages, my two packages? Because they made me place two orders without even knowing, like, without even being able to find the freaking colors online. They wouldn't answer my messages. Like, I'm telling you, you guys, I'm just unhappy. And really, the tipping point was the shards in all four of my items from Hourglass.com. I also purchased the Nordstrom Trio, which is new. But, <laughs> I have these two colors, so, no, I, this isn't staying either, like, no need, I don't know why I wasn't more careful, I mean, I really wanted just to make a video, which, by the way, I was already conflicted about making. <sighs> I took, like, a poll with my friends, I took, like, I asked friends of all different skin tones, I was like, do you want this video, is this something that's gonna, like, ex feel, make people of darker skin feel excluded like should I even post anything about hourglass anymore I don't know I mean this is just a whole like can of worms you know what I mean and um, everybody said yes to make a video but I didn't know it was you know I was planning on putting these things on my face but I'm just honestly not the type of person to risk anything that looks like it's got something that's not supposed to be in there going on my face like I'm just Well, <clears throat> the other thing I'm annoyed about, okay, I don't know if this is a side you've ever seen from me before because usually I'm just like calm, ASMR type of like <laughs> vibes over here, but I feel like I've lost my mind because I'm filming this video for the second time because I lost the sound, like the, the sound didn't transfer, so I'm hoping whatever I'm saying right now is going to actually show up in my footage, so yeah, that's great. Um, I was worried that it was my camera was functioning because Lord knows I'm dying for a new camera but not ready to buy it right now. Um, but no, it was just a microphone glitch. <sighs> so hi guys, hope your day is wonderful and um, isn't this pretty? I ended up just, you know, the first time around when I was trying to film this video, I was putting on my old Hourglass stuff to show you Hourglass products and the ones that I have already from the new collection and whatever. But um, I don't have that for you. So, great. Or maybe I can put some of the footage in there with no sounds. Doesn't really mean a whole lot though. It wasn't what I wanted. I wanted 
a video where I was like using the new products, com swatch comparisons with the old products and, and applying it to my face and giving you my thoughts and it just isn't happening tonight. I'm sorry. I'm going to just see if our glass replies and what they say. I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of like, how is it that this palette had multiple shards, this palette, and both of these lipsticks, okay? Every single piece that came to me from Hourglass.com and not the one from Nordstrom had stuff in there. I've, I've shopped with Hourglass for so many years and this has never been the case before, and which is great, but I mean, if you saw something in your makeup, like your brand new, really expensive luxury makeup, like what would you do? Would you contact customer service? I had a bad experience with anthropology like years ago and and I just don't like contacting customer service anymore. Not that I especially did before or did often, but it just makes me feel like, oh, they're not gonna believe me because I had that experience. And I'm just like, <sighs> I'm on edge and I'm actually really scared to post this video too. I don't post negative content. That's just not my vibe. So whatever, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna post and let it go and <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little loco right now. How's your day? Good? I hope it's good. Alright, I will catch you in my next one. Bye, Cake Face fam.